Okay, so in this video, we will look at two examples where our objective will be to simplify a logarithm as much as possible. And the idea in this case will be that the logarithm is nothing but the inverse function of its corresponding exponential function. So what if we say look at the logarithm base 3 of 81? So the logarithm base 3 function is the inverse function of the exponential function base 3. So the question is, could we perhaps write 81 as a power of 3? Well, the answer is yes, as 81 is 9 squared, but 9 is 3 squared, so you get 3 squared squared, which is of course 3 to the 4. And if you go back, well 3 times 3 is 9, times 3, 27, times 3, 81. So let's replace 81 as a power of 3, so 3 to the 4, and now we have the desired cancellation. The logarithmic function base 3 is by definition the inverse of the exponential function base 3, so the logarithm cancels the exponential, and we're left with the exponent 4. So, the logarithm base 3 of 81 is positive 4. Now you might wonder, well, what happens if we flip the base of the logarithm with the argument, and instead look at the logarithm base 81 of 3? So now we're looking at the logarithmic function base 81, which is the inverse function of the exponential function base 81. So the question becomes, can we express 3 as a power of 81? Well, if you think about this here, since 81 is 3 to the 4, take the fourth root on both sides, and you get that 81 to the power of 1 over 4, the fourth root equals, and taking the fourth power of here, well, 1 quarter times 4 is 1, so it cancels the 4, and so 3 is 81 to the power of 1 over 4. So now we'll make this substitution here. So we now have the logarithm of 81, the logarithm base 81 of, of 3, and again replacing 3 by the fourth root of 81. And again by definition, the logarithm base 81 is the inverse function of the exponential function base 81. So these two cancel, and we're left with the exponent 1 over 4. And that's it.